Today we are going to make this 4th of July Dad's Barbecue Platter. We're going to start with some contact paper stars that we've cut out already and we're going to put those down um, up at the top part of the platter here. So I'm just going to pull these off and stick them. Now that we have our contact paper stars pressed down against the platter, we're just going to mask off the edge because we're going to focus on the center of the plate to start with. Okay, now we're going to remove all the tape and the contact paper from the platter so that we can start working on the outside. Okay, now we're going to move on to the rim of the platter. The only inside dries and we need to take off some stripes around here. Now we're going to tape off the inside of the platter so that we can work on the outside. So once you have your stripes down on the edge of the rim, then you're going to want to lay the tape down on the inside um, to make a nice clean edge for the, the rim of the platter. And then when you get to the corner, you just want to rip the edge off so it keeps a, a nice corner there for you. Now we're going to paint one coat of red just in between the stripes. Okay, and then once you've gone around with your red and the stripes on the top portion of the platter, you're then going to take your large square brush and just paint one coat of the darkest blue around the bottom part of the rim. And now we're just going to remove the masking tape. Okay, our next step is going to be to take the black fun writer and outline the stars with small dots. So I'm going to alternate outlining with dots and outlining with straight lines. Um, just to sort of switch it up. I kind of like the way this looks, so I'm going to try it this way. Okay, now we're going to move on and sketch our words on the platter. And then with a liner brush, we'll go ahead and paint those on. We're going to go around and add pencil dots to the inner rim. So just follow the rim with the pencil all the way around. Okay, now we're going to take the back end of a paintbrush and some of the darkest blue paint and make some smaller dots in the background. And then we're also going to do it at the bottom portion of the rim where it, that's painted blue as well. Okay, for our last step, we're going to go over the black letters with white puffy paint. Alright, now my interpretation of the Dad's Barbecue Platter is done. You can see we made a, a few little whimsical changes, um, but we'll send it off to the kiln room and it'll get fired up for us.